Watch it, there's movement! I'm so screwed. If I ask you that question again, I'm gonna lose my mind. My two little sisters right now chained up. Oh my god. This is what she looks like. Tight chain down by the neck. Why don't you just sit down there? Oh my god, guys, I'm water. Potential kidnappings are some of the most dangerous calls police receive, but what happens when the suspects just aren't very bright? On October 16, 2023, Akron, Ohio police respond to reports from a witness of a woman being held against her will in a garage. When they arrive on the scene, the witness informs them of the situation. Told the police, there's a girl in there, she's very slow and slim. My husband said he didn't really get a good look at her, but he's yelling at her. She can't see out of her eyes. Okay. So this is why I'm nervous. This is why I've been calling who's and I don't even know if that's even you. Know 100%, you. you know 100%. You know 100%. I know 100%. The witness tells the officer that the suspect, identified as 33-year-old William Mozingo, is holding a visibly injured woman against her will in a locked garage behind the house. She gives them permission to break the door down, but first officers will give the suspect an opportunity to go quietly before sending in the K-9 unit. William, this is Akron Police Department. This is your last chance. Come out now with your hands up, or we'll be sending the K-9 in to apprehend you. You will get bit by the dog. William, last chance. Back up, please. Better come out. Come out now with your hands up. William, come on out. William, come out now. Akron Police. Come out. Come on. Come on now. Oh, nothing in your hands. <laughs> nothing in your hands. Now. Now. Hurry up. You're fit, buddy. Coming out or not? Can you see him? Get out here now. Come out now. Come out now. <laughs> Bro, you're going to get f***ed up in a second. You better come the right the f*** out now. 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 He's up in the attic. <laughs> Come on. Keep, going. No, I don't Keep everything out of your hands. He's in the attic. He's in the attic. He's Keep everything out of your hands. Keep your hands up. 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 Keep Keep your hands up. Put your hands up. Hey, what cuff? What cuff? What cuff? Can I get shoes? All the way. Hey, turn your face that way. Just keep coming. Watch your step. Right there. You get that? There's a female in there. Come on out here. Mozingo exits the garage without incident, and after he's handcuffed, officers enter the garage to search for the alleged victim. They'll find her hiding in the attic of the garage, and will retrieve a ladder so that she can climb down. Okay, what do you need to get down? Up there? Where do you live at here? Thompson. Thompson? How far away is that? Like, like 30 minutes, like close to starting. Why don't you have a sit right seat right there on that seat? Yeah. So you probably want to go. Yeah, probably have where's she at? Okay, also. Yeah. Why don't you just sit down there? Oh, that guy's a water. Oh, we'll get you some stuff here. Officers identify the distraught victim and ensure there is no one else in the attic. As they await medical personnel, Mozingo will be formally arrested. It's just a piece of paper, it's a court paper. But still, I mean, we all know what goes up in front of a piece of papers. All right. Come on, dude. Step on up there.
Yes, sir. Hold on. Is that like a gun on there? Look at that. Get any ligature marks? I'm sure she'll be willing to tell us the whole story. I didn't. Before we asked her about other injuries, she said something like she didn't want more pants. The officers noticed blood on the rope that was tying the victim's hands, but the full extent of her injuries will only later be known. While being held captive for four days, she was beaten, tortured, and doused in gasoline, resulting in facial fractures, a brain bleed, and a broken arm and fingers. Mozingo had been charged and convicted of abductions multiple times in the past and was on probation for similar offenses. He has pleaded not guilty and faces life in prison if convicted. Kidnappings often happen when victims are alone, but what happens when it's in broad daylight? <laughs> On May 18, 2019, a mother and her eight-year-old girl were walking down a Fort Worth, Texas street when a man in a Ford Sedan stopped and snatched her from her mother's arms. Hours later, an anonymous tip leads police to a motel room belonging to 51-year-old Michael Webb. And when they arrive, they won't waste any time. Fort Police Department, open the door! Open it now! Open it! Hands! Let me see your hands! Step out here! Step out! Step out! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Blood in bed! Blood in bed! Blood in bed, man! Hey, here she is! Got her! We got her! We got her! Got her. Police remove Webb from the room and upon searching, find a little girl hiding in a laundry basket under a pile of clothes. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Bring it out. 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 Who have it? Can we cover her up? Can we cover her up? Yeah. With something? Here, just Here you go, baby. Okay, baby. Can we get her out? Hey, come here. Come here. Let's go. Come on, sweetheart. You're okay? Yeah. You're safe? We got you. You're gonna be okay. We got her. Hold the door. Hey, back off, guys. Back off. Please, just back off. Riz, Riz, they found her. They found her. We have her. Hey, Hayes, let's go. Let's get her in here so she can sit down. Guys, listen, just, just stay there for me, okay? The officers announce their discovery and ensure that Webb is detained in the hallway. The little girl asks for her clothes before the officers take her out, but they want to get her out of this situation as quickly as possible, so wrap her in a towel before taking her out. As the little girl is put safely into a police vehicle until emergency services services, the father is given notice that her daughter has been found. This is the father. Okay, it's the okay. Father. It's the father. Just hold on, okay? What is this place called? What's this it's, place? It's the, the Woodbridge Suites. Woodward Suites? Are it's it's in Forest Hill. After a disturbing confession from Webb himself, I told her that if she said anything, that I would do something to her parents. And if I was in jail, I would have my friends to do it. It took a jury less than 15 minutes to find him guilty of multiple counts of aggravated kidnapping, sexual assault of a child, and decency with a child, of which he was a habitual offender. He's serving life in prison, the maximum sentence for his crimes. This was a terrifying case, but this next one shows just what good old-fashioned police work can do to save a potentially terrible situation. I'm missing a juvenile left school. This is what she looks like. Check out this one that checked in today. Where's this guy? Sheriff's office. If I ask you that question again, I'm gonna lose my mind. When a 13-year-old Florida girl goes missing and an officer talks to one of her friends, he learns a disturbing story. The girl had recently met an adult man online and was planning on meeting him at a Dollar General. The friend only knew that the man's name started with a T, 
and they were going back to an area to motel. I'm looking at today from school gets out around 3.15ish, so I'm thinking 3 to 3.30. I mean, is that like a super, super recent picture though? She says she looks pretty much like this. It, might, it looks pretty close to her. After the officer studies the store's security footage and spots the girl, he begins visiting area motels to question employees of any possible sightings. Deputy James, I'm wondering if um, a juvenile and an, uh, another person checked in here earlier today. I'm looking for a juvenile that looks to be ran away from home today. Uh, the, the person she's with? No clue. Well, check out this, this person that checked in today. Ooh, where's this guy? I think this is him. They said his name started with a T, possibly Tyler. Front office! Anybody inside? We need to come in for a second. The officer has shown a photo of a man who recently checked in with a name matching the one the missing girl's friend gave. He'll now go to the room and announce himself as motel staff rather than police. Because if the suspect feels cornered, he could end up doing something rash like hurt the girl. Sheriff's office. Back up. Have a seat on the couch. What's up, sweetheart? Sheriff's office. Get Pappy up here. Go in the bedroom and wait for me for a second. How old are you? How old are you? Five on tech. Just wait in there for me, sweetheart. Okay. Are you okay? Thank Do you, you need any at all? Are you hurt at all? You're not hurt at all? Your yeah, stomach hurts? The girl runs to the officer, who immediately separates her from the uncooperative suspect before assessing her for injuries. When the man finally admits his age, the officer will let him know just how serious this all is. How old are you? If I ask you that question again, I'm gonna lose my mind. How old are you? How old are you? Yeah, you up real good. I found him. Too old. Right, I'm on the way. Copy. Thanks, you sure you're okay, sweetheart? Okay. The officer calls in the report and will again check on the girl while waiting for backup to arrive. Tyler Thompson was charged with sexual battery of a person under the age of 18, traveling to meet a minor in 27 counts of possession of child pornography. Kidnappers often know their victims, but what happens when parents keep their kids prisoners in their own home? My two little sisters right now are chained up. They're chained up? See how dirty she is? Do you take any medication? What's medication? On January 14, 2018 in Paris, California, a malnourished and beaten 17-year-old girl calls police, claiming that she's run away from home but has no idea where she is. When an officer responds to find her wandering in the street, he'll hear an unbelievable tale. And what's going on? Okay. I just ran away from home. Okay. And I live in a family of 15. Okay. My two little sisters right now are chained up. They're chained up? Yes. Where are they chained up at? On the bed. Now, mother didn't chain them up just to be me. Okay. They're chained up because they stole mother's food. I'm sorry if I talk too much. Okay. I've never talked to anybody out there, so I don't, I, I've never been alone with a person, so this is very hard for me to talk. The girl tells the officer that all of her siblings are being held prisoner by their parents, and that she's never talked to anybody out there. Her use of there instead of here gives credence to her story. It's almost as if she can't believe she's truly free, and in her mind, she's still inside the house. Do your parents know you left your house? No, they don't. So Do you take any medication? What's medication? Medication? Yeah, what's medication? Do you take pills? Do you take pills? Oh, I For... don't think I've ever taken a pill before. <clears throat> okay. Right, I haven't. Um, the girl's vocabulary is stunted and her cadence is off. She convincingly claims not to know what medication means or that she's ever even taken it. 
With these strange revelations, any skepticism the officer may have had about the girl's story is beginning to subside. Our parents are abusing. They abuse us. But the reason I called and the reason I managed to get out here, this is one of the most scary things I've ever done. Uh -huh. I'm terrified. But I called because my two little sisters, they're chained up right now. Do you have pictures of that? Yes, I can show you. I actually didn't have it, and then one of my sisters told me I need to get pictures. You have pictures of your sisters chained up? Yes, but uh, they're, yeah, they're in here. Okay. I, I don't have proof of everything, but I have proof that my sisters are chained up. So see, you can look at that. See, those are the places that make it on that. And see how dirty she is? We're so filthy. We, we, we don't take baths. We don't. How did your sisters get like this? Okay. Your parents chained them up? Yes, because they stole food. Okay. But they stole it because they were hungry. Who took this picture? I did. I took those pictures. <laughs> okay. You make sure to save these, okay? Okay, I will. Don't get rid of those. I won't. The girl shows the officer photos of her sisters chained up and filthy, but doesn't appear to have the vocabulary to describe their injuries or so many other horrors their parents inflicted on them. The courageous young girl is later identified as Jordan Turpin, and after the home of her parents David and Louise Turpin is raided, is soon dubbed the House of Horrors. They would later be charged with 14 counts of cruelty to children, torture and false imprisonment, and sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 25 years. Jordan is now an aspiring model and social media personality. In our next case, we'll see how certain repeat offenders just can't seem to control their urges. I, I was right around the corner at the racks where the clothes were. My son came over and told me someone was trying to grab her and take her into the bathroom. Your story doesn't add up. I'm telling you, I swear to God, please, please. Get off the phone. August 25th, 2023, mother in Sandusky, Michigan calls police to report a man who allegedly attempted to pull her young daughter into a thrift store bathroom. So. He does, he had a charge in Lapeer that was on probation for four misdemeanor. But he was never charged, they had never had enough evidence. Okay. The man is discovered to be 19 year old Andrew Jewell, a worker at the store and resident of the Associated Homeless Shelter. When the officer speaks to the store manager, he'll discover some disturbing details about Andrew's past before going inside to confront him. You got an idea on you? Yes. Well, can I talk to you? Well, I need your ID so I know who I'm talking to first. I'm gonna go to jail, ain't I? Because everybody's gonna believe everything. Is he gonna pose a tape? That's what he's doing. Hey, right, can I talk, please? Yeah, go ahead. I was in the bathroom. Before I shut the door, I told her, because they pick a free toy, you can ask them up there. I told them that you guys can get a free toy. So they go there looking at the toys. I shut the door. When I was using the bathroom, the little girl walked in on me. And she made it halfway in the doorway. I freaked out and tried to slam the door, and it hit her. That's why she was crying. I can't go to jail, dude. I'm on probation. What are you on probation for? Uh, a misdemeanor assault. I can't. Misdemeanor assault for what? I don't know. I. Where do you live at? The rescue mission. Please, I can't go to jail. I'm so screwed. The misdemeanor assault Jules referring to is when he pulled a young girl into a movie theater restroom a year prior, a crime of which he was convicted and is currently on probation for. It seems he's well aware of what an arrest for a similar offense would mean and desperately reaches out to his manager for help. I can't survive in there. Just wanted to give you guys some privacy. No problem. Tom, Tom. I can't go to jail. What? Well, this is so yeah, I, I, far. I'm sure. 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 i am sure i am sure i happened? I got into a fight. With who? A friend of mine. We were at the movie theater. Him and me got into an argument after the movie. 
inside the whole entire fight, the police sold up. As stated earlier, Jewel's arrest was for no mere fight with a friend. He was convicted of aggressively pulling a random young girl into a public restroom just one year prior. The officer leaves Andrew in the back room and finds his manager to go over the security footage and get a better idea of what happened. So that doesn't add up with the video camera. <laughs> but he's saying, see, that's where he comes out again. In there. But he doesn't go to the bathroom, see? He comes around here and started looking for us to see where we were at. I'm in the office. Heather's right there. Crystal's right there. And see, he's looking for the little girl right now. He just saw the little girl walk back over there. And there's a little boy, see? Now he's walking that way. So her story adds up more than his. Mm -hmm. The officer is shown the security camera footage, and while the crime isn't specifically seen, the girl's story is corroborated and, crucially, Jules isn't. Nevertheless, the officer gives him one last chance to explain his version of events. So I'm sitting on the toilet. Open the door real quick. Just open it. Mm -hmm. She walks right, she opens the door and walks right there. I hurry up and get up and try to pull my pants up, and I grab her shoulder. Like I said, then the little boy came around the corner, and when I tried to push her out, the door got stuck into my foot. It kept pushing, so I'm trying to pull my pants up and push her out. And that's when she hit her head right there. That's when she started crying, and the little boy saw me put my hands on her shoulder, because I put my hands on her shoulder to stop her from coming in fully, and that's when I pushed her out. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I okay. swear to God, please. Go ahead and get off the phone. You taking me to jail? Yeah. Please, please. Get off the phone. Please, I swear, I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God! Turn around, put your hands behind your back, right now. <laughs> I swear to God! <laughs> I swear to God! I swear! Stop. I swear! I didn't do nothing! Please! Can I at least speak to Tom before I go? Can I at least speak to him? Can you stop screaming? Yes. <laughs> Did the camera show me doing anything? The cameras back up more what the little girl said than what you said. <laughs> Tom! Tom! I swear I didn't! No, Tom! So here's, here's the situation. Uh, Tom! Please! Please, Tom! So here's the, Please! Here's the situation we're under. We're going to ask you to leave the shelter. Even if you do get bailed out, I will have your stuff. I will, do you want me to call Jennifer and have her come pick up your stuff? You cannot stay at our shelter. You're no longer welcome. Okay. Right, listen, listen, That's listen. Can you at least listen say, to me? Okay? Can I say one name, Tom? One name, please. I'm begging you. So, if I'm going to jail, am I getting out? You are no longer welcome at our shelter. So, why I have to go to jail if I don't go to the shelter? No, you're still going to jail. I, do you, is there another shelter? That's up to the judge and that, that stuff. They're sagging off. Yep. Can, can I at least call you while I'm in the jail? Please. Jennifer would be better off to help you at this point, not me. There's nothing I can do for you. I swear I did it, Tom! Uh, that's up to... I some, swear to God! That's someone else besides me to decide. I swear to God, Tom! I don't decide that officer. Jessica Wall doesn't decide that. So that's stuff beyond us. I swear to God, Tom! Okay? I swear to God! Thank you for everything, Tom, but I swear to God. So you want me? To, so this phone? Do you want me? You want to take it with you? Yes. Your backpack. You, you can have this thing picking up. All right, I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. I, I will call Jennifer. Okay. Here, put this in the backpack because yeah, he yep, can't yep. have those. Yep, you got a lighter in there. Yeah. <laughs> His backpack's still back there. I swear to God. I figured. Yep. <laughs> I swear to God, I can do nothing. <laughs> Jewel received felony charges of attempted unlawful imprisonment and attempted kidnapping and faces life in prison if convicted. 
As frightening as this was, our last video shows what happens when a psycho will stop at nothing to get back at his ex-girlfriend. Watch it, there's movement! Tight chain down by the neck. Because he broke into my Las Vegas apartment and stole me from my home. On Jan 30, 2017, a young woman was seen being dragged from her Las Vegas apartment and forced into a white van, and 31-year-old Jack Morgan is soon labeled a person of interest. Hours later, officers in Espanola, New Mexico spot a vehicle matching the van's description and initiate a stop, only to find something more disturbing than they could ever imagine. Hey, keep them up! Keep them coming back! Keep them coming back! There's a passenger! There's a passenger! 48! Go ahead, go ahead! Hands up! Hands up, passenger! Get on the ground, passenger! All the way! Yeah, I got passenger, I got passenger. Twice. You got him? Hey, watch the crossfire! Is there anyone else in there? Yes, there's one person. Watch it, there's movement. Don't move, don't you move! Stay down. Yep, sir. She's in there. Don't Help you move. Help her. A passenger emerges from the vehicle. She calmly tells officers that she's in there. But considering the muffled cries from inside the van, the officers clearly already know. But nothing will prepare them for what they'll find inside. Well, got, put a camera on this thing. Got a camera. You need a. Yeah. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Rolling? Okay, it's rolling. Okay, okay we're gonna get you out of here, okay? <laughs> We're gonna get you out of here. Do you need me to say anything about what happened or anything? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just hold on for now, okay? Just hold on, okay? We're gonna get some pictures and we're gonna get you out, okay, man? Sarge, I'm gonna take some pictures. We have the evidence. He's tight chained down by the neck. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, make sure we get photographs of it. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. I don't wanna. And she understands what I'm gonna do. Okay. But she's cool with it. Okay. The victim is not only bound at the wrists, but literally chained down by the neck to the bottom of the van. Police will take photos to use as evidence before attempting to release her. Dude, I don't know, there's another one out there somewhere. Okay, got it. Take pictures of all this before we get the like chains the fucking weird, the I got pictures of her and I got pictures of the chains. Don't, don't all the weird stuff there. Okay, you come this way. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Got another hand, okay? Got it? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, we got you. You check them, though? He had me earlier and I got him to take him. You get the comfy for it? It looks like those are just in here. Okay, hold this one. Got it. Comfy. Here, you got one. <laughs> Sergeant, Sergeant, why don't you walk over there to the front of the unit and take all that stuff off in front of the camera? I'm rolling. Oh, I'm rolling. Oh, okay, you got one. <coughs> he choked me Sarge, out six times. We don't have, I don't got a key for this one, guys. Sarge, I don't got a key for the neck one. Okay. There it is, here it is. Okay, hold on, give me time. <gasps> Oh, my God. <laughs> Where are you guys going? I was in Las Vegas. He broke into my Las Vegas apartment and stole me from my home. Las Vegas, New Mexico? Nevada. Nevada? He f***ing hauled Do you know the guy? Yeah, he's my ex-boyfriend. How did you know? 
They called us and told us. Who did? I was up at the office trying to run him, see if we had anything on him. Oh my God. Were you able to get a hold of somebody to tell him where you were at? Or... No. no. He dragged me out of the place and I fought so f***ing hard because I was like, this is how you die. And I think a neighbor saw me getting dragged out. Mm -hmm. He choked me out like six times because I kept fighting so hard. Okay, did you lose consciousness when he was choking you? Yes, like six. He choked me out six times. Okay. The victim confirms with police that the man they have in custody is her ex-boyfriend, Jack Morgan, who came into her apartment and violently abducted her before a neighbor spotted him leaving. Okay, you want to have a seat in here, warm up? All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I got the heater cranked up too, so let me know if you need anything, okay? Oh my God. All right, go ahead and step up, okay? Go your hand. Let you guys she was kidnapped from Las Vegas, Nevada. She was shackled inside of the vehicle. So, okay. An officer transfers the victim to the care of paramedics and fills them in on the case. Even for these seasoned veterans, this is an extraordinary situation. But the suspect's increasingly odd behavior in the back of the police cars will make it even more so. The heinous actions Morgan has just recently committed seem to have had no emotional effect on him. If anything, he's simply tired from the physical excursion they required and makes no effort to hide his yawns. But what he does next defies all belief. You got a favorite him? What's that? You got a favorite him? No, I don't. Why not? I don't know. I've never been into them. What about you? What about Amazing Grace? You like that one? I'll take it. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound begun. There's hey. another verse, but I don't know. That's pretty good. Hey, I do what I can. You are you a Christian man? Yeah, I am. You? I am. In my uh, in my van, there's a. A Bible, a Nelson Bible, and a Baptist hymnal. Are there any chances I can get those? I'm pretty sure. It's gonna your vehicle's gonna be right up the road anyway, so let's get this one first. The worst thing about here. I'll see the the which one? The which Bible? The, the Nelson Bible. There's two of them. There's a big one, and then there's a smaller red one. It's a smaller red one. Small red one? Yeah. Okay. And then the Baptist hymn. I'll see about getting it for you. That'd be super. After quizzing the officer on his religious beliefs, Morgan asks for only two things from his van. His hymnal and his Bible. Can I ask what's happening? What's that? What's happening? Uh, we gotta figure out a few things, okay? Okay. The passenger of Morgan's van is being transported in the back of a separate police vehicle. She will later be identified as his 19-year-old transgender girlfriend, Sophie Brown. Are we going to the police station? We are. I've never been there. You've never been to a, to a police station or this police station? Well, I mean, I've never been here. Okay. I mean, this isn't really how I wanted to go, but it is. Yeah, I'll be right back to get you, okay? Okay. Hey, excuse me. Could you get me some shoes? Hey, he's shackled. I gotta shackle him still. Hey, he's excuse shackled. me. I gotta, him still. I gotta try to find him. Can you get me some shoes before you come get me? What's that? Could you get me some like footwear? Uh, I don't think we have footwear here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, are you you're feet cuffing me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll pull this up. Uh, okay. I don't... I don't know how all this works. I'll just listen to what you tell me. Thank you for not, not making them too tightly again. <laughs> as insane as these cases were, in our next video, you'll see criminals who will try just about anything to justify their crimes. Are you clear on that? 12 is very old. I was looking for a six-year-old.